So what do you do in this market if you can't sell your house for what you think you want to sell it for? But you still have to use that equity because you're going through a life situation, whether it be moving out of state, finding a new career, getting a divorce, getting married. Any of those things are life-changing things that sometimes mean you have to move or you have to do some adjustments with your finances. But what do you do if the net that you would get from selling your house doesn't quite give you enough to buy a new place? Should you hunker down and stay where you're at or should you rent or should you buy a house that's less than should you put less down or see other financing options i mean what what should we do so i had a client that was dealing with this and they were in a scenario where they had to use their um, money that they were getting from the sale of their home to buy another house but also pay off some debts and things that they had going on in their life but when they got their offers they realized the net that they would have wouldn't give them enough to put a certain amount of down payment to have the monthly payment on their new house be what they can afford so they started to feel a little bit uncomfortable with the whole scenario and wanted to pull their house off the market now i get pulling your house off the market if that's the best thing that's right for you so there's nothing against that if you decide to stay in the home that you're in but the problem is if you stay with the home that you're in you still have to pay off certain debts so that means that the equity that you have you have to get a heloc and you'd still have to pay for, for some of those things through that. And basically your monthly payment that you have now at the low interest rate you have now will turn to a higher monthly payment and a payment also for the other debts that you're consolidating. Now, real estate can be tricky because it is an emotional thing for people. It's their house, where they live, where they raise their family, um, you know, and so it can be very emotional, but it is also important for people to make sure that the finances work for them so this is where it kind of gets tricky and of course since they didn't make necessarily what they would want to make with these offers they were a little bit short and so we worked with the lender to create a solution for them however it made their monthly payments higher than what they wanted to pay and when buyers aren't comfortable paying that it's not the right move for them so here's another option that i suggested i suggested sell the house go rent somewhere that would be cheaper than what your past monthly mortgage payment would be or what your mortgage payment now with the current loan amounts would be until you find a place that you want. And in the meantime, you have that equity in your bank account that you can use to find a home whenever you want, whenever it works for you. Or continue to save while you're in the rental to find your next place. Of course, this was just an option that I gave them because obviously I just like to lay out all the options for them and let them make an educated decision on what they would like to do. And for them, they felt like renting was a bad thing, which I thought was pretty interesting. Renting is not a bad thing, especially if it's going to get you to the end game and if it's going to reduce your monthly payment to be able to feel like you can save and afford what you actually want to do and where you actually want to go. It doesn't mean it has to be forever. But instead of selling and renting and walking away with a net profit that wasn't quite enough for their next house, they decided to stay in the home, get a HELOC, pay off what they needed to pay, and just increase their monthly payment and stay where they're at. Which is also okay too. There is no perfect answer, but I do want everyone to know that it's not bad to rent somewhere. For instance, in some markets, it may be cheaper to rent than it is to own. If the house you own is older and needs maintenance, then you're not gonna have to worry about saving and spending on those 10X items like the furnace or the roof or siding or anything like that that might have to be paid for while you're staying where you're at. You could potentially save money on things like the maintenance that you would have to maintain in a house that you're currently in if you don't sell it. So again, it's not a bad thing. I also shared other options like maybe getting a multifamily and share and buying one unit and renting out the other. There are lots of different options and my job was really just to share all the different options and let them choose what they'd like to do. At the end of the day, although I'm an advocate for owning, I don't think renting's bad. I think there's a use for it. Not a one size fits all.